China's recent launch of the G60 Mega Constellation signals more than just a technological leap, it's a bold move to reshape global internet governance. With 18 satellites now in orbit, China aims to challenge SpaceX's Starlink, but this isn't just about faster internet. This project could export China's model of digital authoritarianism, extending the reach of censorship and surveillance across borders. This video dives deep into what the G60 constellation means for global internet freedom, why it matters, and the potential risks it poses. Stay tuned as we explore the real implications of this ambitious satellite network and why the world should be paying close attention. The G60 Mega Constellation is part of China's grand strategy to establish a dominant presence in the global satellite internet market. Spearheaded by Shanghai Spacecom satellite technology and supported by the Shanghai Municipal Government, this project envisions deploying up to 14,000 low-Earth orbit LEO satellites by 2030. The first phase, currently underway, involves launching 648 satellites by the end of 2025 to provide regional coverage. This will expand to global coverage by 2027 with an additional 648 satellites, culminating in 15,000 satellites by 2030. On August 6, 2024, China successfully launched the first batch of 18 satellites aboard a Long March 6 rocket. These satellites orbit at an altitude of 500 miles, 800 miles, 800 kilometers, higher than SpaceX's Starlink satellites, which orbit at approximately 340 miles, 550 kilometers. The G60 satellites feature a flat panel design allowing them to be efficiently stacked for launch. Each satellite weighs around 300 kilograms and is designed using digital and modular production methods. This project represents a significant leap in commercial satellite technology, positioning the country as a formidable competitor to SpaceX in the race for global satellite internet dominance. However, this project isn't just about connecting the world, it's also about securing strategic satellite frequencies and orbital slots before they are claimed by other nations. Given the first come, first served rule governing these resources, China's rapid deployment of the G60 constellation underscores its determination to stake its claim in the crowded space of satellite internet. This constellation is not an isolated initiative. It is part of a broader Chinese strategy that includes two other mega constellations, the Gaowang and Hongku-3 projects. Together, these three constellations will comprise tens of thousands of satellites, reflecting China's ambition to create a vast, integrated space-Earth information network. The G60 mega constellation, while a technological marvel, poses significant concerns regarding the global spread of digital authoritarianism. Central to China's approach to internet governance is the concept of cyber sovereignty, which emphasizes state control over digital spaces within national borders. China has long used this principle to justify the extensive censorship and surveillance that characterizes its domestic internet, known as the Great Firewall with the launch of this project, there is a growing fear that China could export this model of digital control on a global scale. Satellite internet, by its nature, is more centralized than traditional internet infrastructure. In a satellite network, data is routed through a limited number of ground stations or gateways, making it easier for governments to monitor, censor, or block content. This centralized structure contrasts sharply with the decentralized nature of traditional internet infrastructure, which relies on a network of subsea cables and terrestrial connections managed by numerous stakeholders. The decentralized nature of traditional internet infrastructure has historically made it difficult for any single entity to exert complete control over the flow of information. However, the centralized structure of satellite internet networks like the G60 could enable more effective censorship and surveillance by authoritarian regimes. If countries around the world begin to adopt China's satellite internet services, they may find it easier to implement their own forms of digital authoritarianism. Governments could use these services to block politically sensitive topics, monitor user activity, or even shut down internet access during periods of unrest. This potential for abuse is particularly concerning given the increasing global trend towards authoritarianism. By exporting its satellite internet technology, China could enable other governments to replicate its model of digital control, leading to a world where the free flow of information is increasingly restricted. The implications of this are profound. The internet has long been seen as a tool for empowerment, 
allowing people to access information, communicate freely, and challenge authority. However, if China's model of digital authoritarianism spreads, the internet could become a tool for repression, used to control and silence dissent. The global deployment of China's new satellite network raises several significant risks that extend beyond the immediate concerns of censorship and surveillance. One of the most pressing risks is the geopolitical leverage that China could gain over countries that rely on its satellite internet services. Nations that adopt these services may find themselves under pressure to align with Beijing's political and economic interests. This could involve censoring content critical of China, restricting the activities of political dissidents, or sharing sensitive data with Chinese authorities. In this way, the satellite network could become a tool for China to exert influence over other nations, shaping the global political landscape to its advantage. Another significant risk is the potential for increased surveillance and cyber espionage. The centralized nature of satellite internet networks makes them particularly vulnerable to state control and surveillance. Data transmitted through Chinese satellites could be subject to China's stringent data localization laws, which require companies to store data within China and make it accessible to the Chinese government. This raises serious concerns about the privacy and security of data transmitted through this network, particularly for users in countries that lack robust data protection laws. Additionally, the rapid expansion of satellite constellations like this one presents challenges for space management and the protection of the night sky. With tens of thousands of new satellites expected to be launched in the coming years, the risk of space debris and collisions increases. This network alone plans to add 14,000 satellites to low Earth orbit, which is already becoming increasingly crowded with satellites from SpaceX, OneWeb and other operators. This congestion not only raises the risk of collisions, but also threatens to create a cascade of space debris that could endanger future space missions. The brightness of these satellites also poses a threat to astronomical observations. Astronomers have already raised concerns about the impact of mega constellations like Starlink on their ability to observe the night sky. These satellites are expected to be similarly bright, potentially interfering with both professional and amateur astronomical observations. This could hinder scientific research and diminish the aesthetic beauty of the night sky for people around the world. As these developments unfold, it becomes clear that while this mega constellation represents a significant technological achievement for China, it also introduces substantial risks and broader implications for the global community. The potential for digital authoritarianism, geopolitical leverage, and increased surveillance are all serious concerns that warrant careful consideration. Furthermore, the impact on space management and astronomical observations underscores the importance of international cooperation and regulation to balance the benefits of satellite internet with the challenges it brings. In this video, we have learned about China's G60 Mega Constellation. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.